Uh, welcome to this new video and in this video I want to answer the questions that some people gave me about the Xperia 1 Mark III and the iPhone 13 Pro camera comparison especially in terms of video mode where some people claimed ah something's wrong with the colors of the iPhone 13 Pro mine looks a lot better so one thing that people were saying is maybe you're using HEVC and your video editor is not good at this but that's not the case I was not using HEVC, I was using H.264, so I was using the highest compatibility mode on the iPhone 13 Pro because I know that sometimes there are issues. But what I did is turn off HDR and this is something where people said, ah, this might be the one thing that makes the colors look a little bit bad on the iPhone 13 Pro video in the comparison video. So I decided now to, because the Xperia 1 Mark III also has HDR mode that you can enable, to enable this HDR mode now on the Xperia 1 Mark III. And this is what you can see right now. Uh, it is a bit get getting dark right now, but maybe you can see something here flying and there. I think two airplanes flying in the sky. I hope the HDR is doing its job and keeping everything nicely exposed here in this uh, yeah, fairly dim lit situation still. But uh, this is what you can expect in terms of colors with the Xperia 1 Mark III. The 1 Mark III has a limitation where it can only record the HDR in 30 frames per second. So whenever you want to shoot something with 60 frames per second, HDR turns off and you have no ability to turn it on. What you can also see is I'm walking here on very unsteady ground. So this is a very good stabilization test as well, because some people claim that the Xperia 1 Mark III has better stabilization than the iPhone 13 Pro. I'm not so sure about this. I think they are on par actually and maybe the iPhone in theory should have like the advantage because besides of OIS it has a shift sensor shift stabilization which is a lot yeah, better than the OIS at least Apple claims it but you can decide for yourself this is now not handheld but with a selfie stick to see uh, which one is better in terms of stabilization as well and there's another airplane it's super, super crazy I think they're starting here from somewhere close by and uh, yeah uh, yeah it is starting definitely it's going up so uh, yeah this is the uh, Xperia 1 Mark III and now we will switch to the iPhone to see which one has the better HDR video so now the Apple iPhone 13 Pro and it's HDR mode 1080p 30 frames per second as well keep in mind it can go also to 60 frames per second at 1080p but also 4k 30 and 4k 60 frames per second all with HDR and uh, this is another HDR it's not HRG as uh, HDR it is Dolby Vision HDR so this promises to be like the higher end HDR somehow but needs a little more, more pro processing power to actually uh, render the colors and so on so this is the HDR that you can get and uh, do we see any airplanes flying around I think up there in the sky <laughs> there's some a bit further away there's some some coming right now but also a bit further away now uh, you might see it there there up in the sky so yeah this is the HDR that you can expect in terms of uh, iPhone and what about stabilization if I walk same uh, speed and same way as with the um, Xperia 1 Mark III what do you think about the HDR and what do you think about the stabilization of the iPhone 13 Pro so this is uh, a nice little test that someone requested and I think uh, it makes sense to retest it especially with HDR and figuring out that uh, the iPhone has a little bit of an edge over the Xperia 1 Mark III in terms of this uh, but does it really have an edge also in terms of colors and uh, video stabilization in a darker dim lit situations just like this one here uh, write it down in the comment section otherwise if you like to support such videos such independent testing that I'm doing here right now because I don't have any sponsor that's giving me money for buying those phones to test this out or the time that I'm spending here for testing all this stuff you can uh, write down in the comment section what you think about this you can like the video and you can subscribe and share it with others so I get more subscribers I have the option or opportunity to ask maybe someone or some of those companies to send me stuff uh, that I can test so I don't have to pay every time uh, I want to test something uh, out and I don't have like this restrictions restrictions uh, that uh, my wallet is giving me right now so I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video uh, thanks for watching until the next time bye
What I almost forgot to mention is of course you can record HDR also with a super wide angle uh, shot of the Xperia 1 Mark III and of course also with the iPhone 13 Pro the ultra wide angle can also do HDR. I think all of the lenses can do HDR and this is what you can get in terms of HDR. I'm not using a microphone right now so this is also what you can hear in terms of audio quality. I think something that I also missed out in one of my, ca uh, my last camera review tests so here I'm just cutting it in right before the end so this is what you can see and hear now from the Xperia 1 Mark 3 and uh, let's switch to the iPhone to see how this is performing. So this is now the super wide angle of the iPhone 13 Pro and this is what you can expect in terms of uh, colors, in terms of HDR, in terms of audio quality with the 13 Pro and I'm speaking in the same voice that I'm always speaking and what do you think was the better microphone quality as well as uh, stabilization and HDR? So write it down in the comment section. That's really now the end.